Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 and the Spain campaign. And where we left off, we were launching our invasion of Germany. And well, uh, we are in a bit advance of that because I'm sick of the game crashing and it was easy for me to go forwards. Now, we have... Oh, don't want to go see the Soviet lines, although we can do that as well. Um, we have taken a pretty sizable amount of their victory provinces. And in fact, we've got some of the major ones are under our direct control. Um, and we're pushing on places like Bremen... Um, Kassel and Frankfurt and Main. Now, we were up here. The Americans were, were at the Praha line, but for whatever reason, they're being pushed back. So we're in a bit of a race of time because we are only 0.4% away from uh, inv inv blah, 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 beating the Germans. Um, they're at 52.2% national unity, and that's mainly as a result of strategic bombing, which is absolutely flattening them. Uh, the Soviets are still continuing their push onwards. In fact, they're very close to Moscow. They're within, well, 80 kilometers of, of Moscow. So, yeah, not far away at all. And their victory or their surrender progress is still sort of looking okay. But the key thing for us is that we desperately need to get Frankfurt and Main under our control. If we can take that, then I think we've pretty much beaten them. So I've started recording again at the point where, you know, they should, in theory, um, be dealt with. Now, we will move up supports into Victory Province areas because we just need to hold VPs and destroy... Oh, there we go, everyone. So, I think that's some form of victory. Oh... Oh, damn, son. Uh, wow. And I'm going to assume... Yeah, they're at war with Bulgaria and Finland. So, are we at war with Romania? Yeah, we're at war with the Spanish Republic, or with them as well. So, wow. Okay. Now, not bad going, everyone. It was a bit of a, a trek, but um, we've... Seems like we've dealt with most of it. Now, with any luck, we can just sort of hold off. Now, we're nowhere near the Allies. We're, we're heading towards them, but... You know, it's just slow going. But uh, we got their, their industrial heartland, didn't we, really? Um, well, actually, not much of it. Uh, we got a little bit of their industrial capacity, but not a massive amount. Uh, oh, but we did get, like... Oh, Milan and Torino and things. Uh, the main issue we've got is uh, manpower. We are just well and truly fucked from a manpower perspective. Um, we're completely out, which pretty much makes this campaign uh, at an end, pretty much. But one thing I did notice is that the Germans did build a nuclear reactor. Uh, so if we hadn't have acted when we did, we might have had some nukes being flung our way because... They were not far away at all from uh, from dealing with that, so... Wow, how very interesting. Anyway, now because we're not in the Allies, we are limited on what we can do, really. Um, but we've done a, I think, what I would define as a decent job in this campaign. Um, I wouldn't say we've built the grandest Spanish Empire, but it's definitely not bad. We've... Got a bit of an uprising going on down here that we need to um, resolve. But um, other than that, we've built ourselves quite the little uh, little empire. Um, so yeah, I am pretty happy, all things considered. Um, I imagine that... I wonder if we could release, like, France. Oh, we could. We could do some border gore. We could do some proper border gore, everyone. We could release Luxembourg. <laughs> Oh, and the Italian Social Republic that will receive five provinces. I wonder what provinces they'll receive. I can't. What's, what's going to be cause of the Italian Social Republic? Ah, there we go. Where is it? These ones. <laughs> okay, like literally, like no, no provinces at all. Oh, well, well I'm not really going to do that. But um, yeah, it's not bad, is it? Now, I imagine that the Allies <coughs> are going to head out. Um, and the Soviets now will be able to go absolutely bonkers um, on them. 
Oh yeah, from a surrender progress of like a million percent. Uh, what are they? What are they lacking? Ah, just just Leningrad. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think Leningrad's the only one of their uh, provinces that they've got to worry about. Okay, so it's uh, the Soviet Union has acne, but uh, yeah, jobs are good and and I feel like we're at the point where we can. Uh, the Allies have, have completed nine victory province conditions, but we're not part of any faction. Allah. But, um, no, that was not bad, was it? I feel like it was a relatively effective campaign. And we can, we can host the Nuremberg Trials, because we are the victorious power. Now, I mean, manpower-wise, we've absolutely caned it. Our units are what I would like to define as fucked. But, um... Victory was hard fought, but ultimately hard won. We have done a supreme job of um, taking out the uh, the Soviets, or sorry, the Germans, and now we've got a huge amount of IC uh, and our grand. I mean, considering we're under some negative modifiers, we definitely would have over 600 IC now, which is uh, rather large and impressive. Yeah, we really have uh, absolutely gone all in, haven't we? Um, and it'll be interesting to see... Uh... Oh, there we go, victory. Ah, it's just Berlin that we uh, we don't currently control. So I will just wait for the, uh, the Allies to handle that. Uh, Britain? Why does Britain own Poland? The fuck's going on there? Oh yeah, they're clearing it up now. Well and truly... After that. Okay, so Britain has created its own sort of uh, empire in, in, in the north. <laughs> so there'll never be a threat of invasion ever again. If I, have I just brought in a, a nightmare scenario here? Oh, I think I have. I've brought in hell. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to hit save here. Um, and I might just have a little look at the Americans and the Soviets, so I will be back in a moment. So yeah, I just wanted to show off the situation that the Soviets were in. Whilst they had very, you know, the Germans had really pushed into them, at one point they were up to here. Um, just take a look at this. They had a million men in the Far East, they had four million down here, nine million, nearly, nearly ten million, here, an additional two million, and another five and a half. So you're looking at, let's tot it up in total, so let's call that a mil. Okay, five, 14.2, 16, uh, okay, yeah, N over 20 million men in the field. I mean, are you kidding? That is unfucking believable. Like, I, I've never seen the AI with that amount of troops. I mean, I know it's 1944, but no wonder the game is crashing so much. I don't know if that is... There you go. It just crashed. Uh, uh, honestly, that, that could be a problem. I Is the AI meant to have that amount of units? Like 20 million deployed. That 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 could be the problem as to why that game started falling over as much as it did. Um, but anyway, I will leave that there. Um, thanks very much for watching this series. We're ending on a crash, which is kind of ironic, isn't it, after the last couple of episodes. But um, I really appreciate the support this series has got. And, uh, well, I'll see you again soon because uh, it'll be time to vote on the next one. Now, obviously, the way that I wanted to do it was have a minor and a major series going. And to be honest with you, I think that's what we will probably look to do, is to have a, another minor series now take the place of Spain. Um, off the top of my head, I think the two that are, or the, the, the options that are going through my mind at the moment are Turkey, um, Finland, uh, and Romania, uh, or possibly Poland. Those are the four options that, are, that, that spring to mind, but we'll, we'll have to see. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of whichever campaign replaces this one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.